found the trains as well, and you can too if you watch this video. It can be quite the adventure to find these things, because you need to drive down nearly 70 miles of logging roads deep in the Allagash Waterway backwoods. It all starts on the Irving entrance to the right here in Portage Lake. Down the road a ways, we'll turn to the left towards the mill entrance. Down this road for six miles past the mill and all these giant piles of wood, including this one. It's got to be the biggest pile of small trees I've ever seen. A little ways down the road, you'll meet Eminem's little brother, Six Mile. This is where you're going to pay your $12 fee. Unless you're 70, then it's free. And also, if you're a veteran, it might be free as well. At least it was for my buddy there. You're getting lost already. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Follow signs for the Pinkham Road, which you're going to stay on for 47 miles. It's recommended that you bring a couple of spare tires, maybe even a truck, because these roads can be pretty rugged. When they grade the roads, that tends to make the bigger rocks want to pop out, so just keep your eyes open. It's the moose mobile. <laughs> that thing's gonna get a moose. Down the road a ways, you'll find what used to be a happening logging camp in the 90s. Now it's just a bit of ruins hanging out. Now I know it's a good place for people to camp. It's crazy. These people come like 50 miles into nowhere for weeks and just work. I mean, I, I suppose it would look something just like this. Turn right onto the 47 mile connector. I think we drove this road for about 10 miles till our next turn off. Then you'll see this sign for the Bill Road. And you'll also just keep an eye out for a road that looks like this. Just turns off, but watch out because you could also just miss it by going straight which is the wrong direction. <coughs> nice. Big water. Big water. If you can see a leg to the left and the right, you're on the right path. Maybe stop and see if you can catch some lunch. Keep an eye out for this black trailer to the left. That's right, there's Wi-Fi out here, so if your kids have already gone into Instagram withdrawal, they can get a little re-up right here as you take your turn left down the tram road. Keep your eyes out for a sign on the right for the tram road on the left. like to place more to yourself maybe go on a weekday because it was relatively packed pretty early on this saturday morning <clears throat> don't forget some orange i forgot a orange I made a reservation <laughs> I didn't that either. <laughs> there's quite a few people yeah yeah a lot of people don't worry there's a place to poop maybe it's a good idea because it's a mile hike in about a mile hiking. Hey, you stop copying me. If this guy can make it on his crutches, you can make it too. It's really nice time to do it. Are the leaves changing? We really do need to watch where I'm walking. There's <laughs> quite a few stones and roots around. Really pretty though, um, so far. <laughs> no way you could possibly get lost. You got a bunch of blue blazes all over the place. Yeah. No, 
Yeah, they do say it is faster to come by snow machine, but then you don't get to see all these beautiful leaves, so. Quite a trip for whoever made this, though. It's quite the effort. Train track. Double train track. There's another one on that side. Tree grew right in the middle of this one. <laughs> now we're basically on it. The walking path is the train tracks. Look at those old rivets. Yes, this might be where you put the coal. I have no clue. Oh. <laughs> Looks like it. Looks like I'm on the, the scene of the Polar Express, you know. <laughs> Looks like the tree grew in, <laughs> in the middle of this one too. Whatever this piece is. Something more back there, looks like. Well, people will think I'm a deer now. <laughs> what if you just claws to something? Maybe with one of those claws that go on the end of one of those cars. There's some more pieces of metal. Same number four. Use those claws on one of these cars to put maybe wood on it. Maybe they were using the trains to haul wood. Looks like we're changing direction now. What we gotta do is find one of those parts that changes the direction. Oh, look, some leaves over there. I think it's quite the scavenger hunt. <laughs> oh, there they are. Holy moly. Don't fall Sure, we got all the way up there. No, let her stay right there, Wow. This is definitely some Polar oh, Express yeah. stuff. These are some huge rivets. Yeah. Why don't you guys just stay in here? It's bad. It's nice. Joey, how do you even like manage? Uh, at the front. Oh. At the front. Nah, it's frozen. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh! What's on there? Uh, nothing. It's cold empty. It's like for the cold. All right, let's fire these bad boys up. Yeah, Get them out of here. <laughs> If you want to see some working ones, you go to Scranton. I think I've seen some working ones in Scranton. They got a lot of freaking trains over there. Holy moly. 
This is one of my first videos in Spain. Total polar prisoners. I wonder how many tracks there were. There's quite a few out here. This is track set number three. And there's a set of towers. I'd make a nice table right there. <laughs> Got it from the ghost train, man. Thick cable. Some sort of pulley system. It's like freaking Nathan Drake over here. <laughs> well, these wheels are actually on the track, going in this direction. Figure on this whole tree. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has done this before, but I don't think this would be a bad place to camp either. I mean, take a look at this. Coming over here. Some carts hanging out. Maybe it's what they put the um, wood in back then. Yeah. Several, several. <laughs> Keeps on going. That one doesn't look that bad of shape. <laughs> it's actually got some of its wood still. Might be able to see what it kind of looked like. Stacked up with the uh, with the wood inside. <clears throat> Got a few parts. Ooh. Maybe that's where the switch was. You had an old school sign. Oh, I think the freaking latch is still there. It is. You might have been able to switch it here. Maybe. It's actually the second Eagle Lake. Strange. <laughs> Don't know how two lakes can have the same name. But they do. This one's in a tree. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> See little peaks of it. <clears throat> Telling you, if you want quiet, we're like freaking 70 miles 
into forest roads. It's crazy how all these forest roads were just made. Actually, a man-made wall that made this inlet. See the, see the, the yeah. low beams underwater right here? Yeah. And the, that's a whole wall on that side. They used to channel the wood off or on when they wanted to. But this, the sediment has moved in on this side, so you don't see part of it. But you're actually standing on probably a lot of steel. Yeah. And if you walk up back up there and you look, you can see the whole wall going down through the water. You can see, you see it good over there. This was probably an old wood yard. They had yep. wood piled up here in the wintertime, and when it would unthaw, they'd push the logs out. Float it down. Huh. Wow. That's how they got the wood to the mills. Crazy. Yeah. This 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 thing was dug out by man. Alright. Oh, yeah, There's metal around here somewhere. Take a look at that like, pond area. There's literally a freaking pair of wheels over there. What do you think? Did people put these here? Or did this just naturally happen somehow? Get your own like little locked in pond area. There we go. Getting closer to those wheels. We've got there. <laughs> Don't know how this made it all the way out here, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the trains came all the way out to the water. Then you put them onto a boat. Float them over the river. Lake. Lake's pretty big. Pretty good. At least he could stay here a whole day. Maybe sometime I will. It's a nice place. Quiet. That's Coal Central right there. Holy. Oh yeah, take a little bit old bricks too. There's a little uh, thing that'll tell you what's going on. Here's a little information about it. I found this hanging out in this car. Yeah, you can read this if you'd like to. Pretty inf interesting information about it. What happened, why they're still here, all that good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy to see wheels that are almost as tall as me. Let's take a look at this. wild <clears throat> it's time for the last side here parallel to the lake the opposite side of the lake I'm told it's Bit of a walk, but it's worth it. So let's get on and see what we find here. Eh? It's a little worth going, especially if it rains recently. But I wore my boots on the thing. Oh my! Look at that big old steam thing there. First, for this tram line. Take a look at this. Here are all these logs on this tram with that pulley that runs all the way through here going in between lakes, Eagle Lake and Chamberlain Lake this lake over here to that lake over there to go down to sawmills and Bangor take a look at that it's pretty 
cool. Hope it wasn't one set of people walking that those long hours. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. It says it transferred a hundred million board feet before it was discontinued. That's just wild. Definitely worth the walk down the other side. Big old boilers to run the whole deal. Oh, wow. Look at that giant freaking belt. Oh, it's good, Mark. Damn, you look at this reduction over here. Like, she wants a picture of it now. That's that's what gotta be mine. Okay. Oh, it's Bruce. Here. Oh, start pumping freaking moonshine out of here, huh? There you go. <laughs> Something like that. Take a look at it. what the operation would have looked like. Um, it probably came all the way up. Possibly. Oh, here's some more track. Maybe now. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's, it looks like it's a little more like a marsh these days. But, uh, Definitely came up here. Pretty cool. Pretty good stuff there. Let's see when I come up here, maybe get caught. All these gears. All going up. Continue on to that belt. Yeah, my walk back here, a special thanks to those volunteer people who are keeping this place pretty. Just saw a couple of guys who are weed whacking. It's great. Have thanks to them for stuff being presentable. This is a lot of mud. <laughs> I feel like Shrek right now. Those guys were talking about how they, the first time they came here, they canoed across the Chamberlain Lake to get here faster. Um, interesting ways you can get here. That's also the same lake you snowmobile across to get here faster. But of course it would be cold and everything would be filled with snow. So pick your poison, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Wow, what a quite amount of sun. <laughs> there we go, block the sun. Thank you guys for watching so much. Hope you enjoyed the ghost trains. If you did, maybe hit the like and subscribe for more adventures and the like. I hope you have a very fun and spooky Halloween. Take it easy.